Hello, welcome to Rick's Kits. In this video, we are going to continue with the Ball World 4 Panzer Yaga Vanze, and we will be putting on the camouflage scheme. Um, I've had a look at a couple of references in a book just to double check the camouflage scheme that uh, I'm going to depict, which in the instructions is 333 now in my review video if you've actually watched it let's go out a bit um, I'm almost 100% that this camouflage scheme is wrong and I'm going to show you why so the book I use to reference let me get this up one moment is this Panzers in Berlin, 1945, and it's a Panzer Rex book. You'll have to excuse the uh, light, we've got light directly above us, so it's going to shine down on here. It's a very good book, it's quite informative, and uh, details all the operations involved in Berlin with the Russians and it's mostly based on the German forces so turning to if I can find it without knocking everything off I need the part On the Panzer Vernichter Abteilung 1, which is a chapter associated with the Borg Vord 4s. I try not to uh, bore you to tears with this. Let's get straight to it. It's nicely, very nicely detailed photos. And here we have three three three. It's been slightly wrecked because this apparently is a photo taken late August nineteen forty five. Now comparing it I'm holding this with one hand and trying to get my fingers comparing this to the instructions camouflage scheme here here and here. These are solid block colours. So they've got solid red brown, a solid green and again solid red brown with flashes of yellow between. Unfortunately you can't see much of the camouflage option on this side because the sun's coming in from this direction and the whole of this outside part of the tank is too bright to decipher. But there is a little bit of dark just in that camouflage showing just there and there so that looks like a red brown as well but underneath where there is shadow this is all yellow and the option they give you here is an artist's impression of the same photo i tend to agree with this over this see the camouflage all under here it's not present and 
they've got it down as like a spot camouflage or a patch camouflage I don't agree with it so we're going to follow this actual photo that's my airbrush kicking in because the air is dropped out so we're going with the proper photos one other thing I want to point out is this decal or this unit insignia um, judging by this is red brown and this is green I think this is a light green with white arrows unfortunately the decal options in the kit so that's what they depicted there a light green with white arrows the decal options in the kit <clears throat> on the review side of it let me get them in there. out focus we have a light green you can't see the white arrows unfortunately but they are on there but you've got a red and white arrows I'll be using this unfortunately there's only one decal <laughs> it would have been nice if they'd supplied two because further the photos show that unit insignia was on the back of the uh, on the back of the um, unit as well the tank because it is a tank it's a tank with Panzer Shreks um, I've got a little bit of masking tape in there to make sure the seat doesn't get covered in uh, the colour I'm just about to use I need to which is not necessary but I'm not going to show you it again in the in the book where the was showing the officers looking over there was a spare panzer shrek on the side of the vehicle attached to the side of the vehicle so if i can find one in amongst my stuff i'll attach it another thing noted in some of those photos is the aerials and whatever this is on the back they don't show because this is for the radio option in this option during the battle of Berlin it was driven around the streets anyway that's enough of me rambling on Um, let's get this thing painted so let's get cracking and we're going to be using mix Dunkelgelb House 44 and the DG1 as opposed to the DG2 it's because I think I've run out of DG2 So that's base coat down. No, it's not base coat, is it? That's the underlying coat. A little bit wet in places just to dry it off slightly. Right, that's my primary colour then. My prime colour, my base. I'm going to build up on colour. Um, I want to add a red brown to that and a green.
time to lay down some gloss. Um, I've got the got the tracks on. Was a pain in the backside, as I knew it would be, because they're so small. Uh, but they're on. I'll whip them up slightly in a bit. But I need to put some gloss down to cover this paint. So, using Humbrol Clear, which works straight out of the pot. Okay, the next step on this build is now the varnish is dried we are going to put the decals on a uh, very limited amount only the three um, so we're going to do three 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 we have two on the front one on the back but there should be two on the back really um, so yeah Let's see how they go on, and then after that we'll uh, let them let them dry a bit, and quickly coat them again with a bit of gloss to seal them down, and then we'll put a wash over the top, take that off where it's not needed and finally do a um, bit of dust and basically that'll be finished um, obviously these were in Berlin in a town or should I say in the city um, these are not going to be muddied up because it's street fighting and unless they were used in any of the parks they're not going to be that muddy this one was in in the street so it's um, left abandoned <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so there's not going to be much weathering on it at all right let's see if we can get these decals on for the decals to dry I'm going to do something about darkening up these tracks um, so I'm going to use um, panel line accent colour I'm going to start applying a bit of a wash 
it's the army painter soft tone ink wash I'm only going to put it in areas that I think need to be brought out. Okay, let's add a nice subtle wash on it. Like I said before, it doesn't really need a lot. It's only in places where I thought it needed, needed it necessarily. I'll give that a chance to dry off. Put my oily steel on there to shine the tracks up a little bit. <coughs> Be doing a bit of dry brushing on there.
Okay, I think I can finally call this done. Um, we've dirted up the tracks with dust. I've given her an overall coat of dust. You probably It's very light. It's a very light coat. So you're not really going to see it very well. Um, A little bit of oil, oil or water resting on top of the track. Like I said, they weren't very beaten up. They would have been covered in dust. There would barely be any mud and that on them. Nice little kit. That's in previous videos. Things like this probably could have you know the latches here they probably could have done with being moulded to the actual unit themselves really wasn't happy with the, putting the tracks together as you can see some of them are, some of them are lifted but I can put an extra little bit of glue on that um, yeah I'm quite happy the way this has turned out it's a shame you can't see it to its full extent. <coughs> camera doesn't do it justice, unfortunately. No cameras do. Right. Complete them. Complete them on day. Um, yeah, if you'd like my little series of videos, don't forget to comment down below like the video subscribe to the videos if you feel feel that way inclined um, all your support is appreciated what I really would like some comments on these videos because I'm new to this game and I'd like to know what sort of content you're looking for so with that thank you very much for watching this has been Rick Skits, building and painting the board board for Panzer Jager von Zay. I'll see you in the next build.